guys want one more? I'll do my trick with the cups. Anybody want to see the cup trick? Thank you, man. You have to worry about that. I got one kid. Come on, he's on vacation. He came out here to have a good time. Who wants to see the magic trick? Let me hear you. Totally unnecessary. Here, let's do it. This is it, everybody. The cup trick. The one they come back to watch me do over and over and over again. We got three solid cups. These are metal. They're solid. There's no holes, no trap doors, or secret compartments. The same style cups bartenders use to mix your drinks with. The balls are solid. The balls are white. We're going to put the ball on top of the cup. We're going to put the cup on top of the ball. Tap the cup with the magic wand. Ball falls to the bottom. It was quick, fast. You did not have a fair chance to see it. We'll do it again. Make it even harder. We stack all three cup balls. Still fall down to the bottom. One, two, three balls. Entirely too many. We don't need this ball. We don't need that ball. That's going to leave just this one ball. I'll have this ball fall into the bottom cup. Falls into the first cup. It's going to fall into the second cup. That's going to fall into the third cup, just like I uh, third cup. And it's going to fall into the bottom cup, just like I promised. One ball, one cup, that's not enough. Three cups, three balls. You haven't figured it out yet. Balls are the white ones on top. <laughs> oh, I used to get confused myself in the beginning. Watch the white ball disappear. Never show the same trick to the same person twice. We're going to violate that rule. One, two, three balls will disappear. One, two, three balls will reappear. Don't worry, Zach, I'm just warming up. I'm going to do my big trick, the one they all talk about, the one they like to watch me do. What are you doing down there, dude? The show's on top of the table, not under it. <laughs> What's your name, sir? What's your name? Parker. He's really good at this. I never know the right answers. Parker, see the white ball? I'm going to make this easier for you. I'm going to take this ball off the table by dropping him into the patch so there's only two balls left. We'll take the second ball, we'll put him into the patch. Parker, that leaves one ball. The third to final, the last ball. Parker, we take the third to final, last ball, drop it into the pouch. Zero balls on the table. If I tap the cup with the magic wand, if one of the three balls jumps from my pouch to that cup, now that would be a good trick. Would that be a good trick? Yeah. Yes. yes, that would be a great trick. I sure wish yes. I could do that trick. You Mark would really like it. But that's impossible, Sierra. There's a limit under the cup. See, you're not, you can't fit a ball and a limit under the yeah. same cup. It's not possible. You don't have enough room under here. Harry Potter couldn't do that, not even with his camera trick. Now, that was a good trick. That is the kind of trick that you expect to have to pay for over at the Alabama Theater. Not out here on a boardwalk by a street magician who works on tips and I'm just warming up. My big trick, tap the cup with the magic wand, magically produce a lemon from that cup. Tap this cup with the magic wand, magically produce a lemon from that cup. If you're still not amazed, we tap this cup again. You figure out how I hit a lime up there the whole time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, JoJo Street Magician. That's my big trick. Usually people clap when it's over. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.